Hi, and welcome to this Leverage Technologies presentation of SAP Business One. What I'd like to focus on is the service module in SAP Business One. The service module can be used for warranty and other related services associated with items or service related calls that you want to track within SAP Business One. What we're looking at now is the service call cockpit in SAP Business One, which shows us our service call KPIs. I can see a report which has nice gra graphical information with my incoming calls for today, my calls to close, those which are due today and overdue, my employee workload, which shows three calls assigned to Sophie and one call currently unassigned. I can see my backlog of calls over the last seven days and how that backlog is increasing. And I can see my service call turnover I'm currently looking at that for the last seven days, but I can also look at it in terms of the last four weeks and six months. I can also show details of my different queues, for example, Melbourne and Sydney, or my queue for PCs, printers and servers, which may be under repair or awaiting service call. Other related information inside the cockpit, for example, here I have a request for document approval, which relates to a particular service call. I can drill down on that and what I see here is that there is a draft purchase order in the system awaiting my approval. Standard SAP Business One functionality, I click on the golden arrow, drill down to the actual draft purchase order awaiting my approval and I can then approve or not approve that purchase order. So what we're seeing there is workflow, alerts and approvals associated with the service management. I can also notice from this cockpit view of the service manager, I can, for example, go directly from this view to my open service calls. And I drill down and there are my open service calls. Once again, I could now, if I want, drill down to the individual call that I want. I can also review from within here. I can go straight to my common functions, i.e. straight to a service call or straight to an equipment card or service contract. So what we're seeing in this cockpit view of SAP Business One service calls is our KPI dashboard, our alerts and approvals associated with the service call, common functions and open documents. Let's now go into the actual modules and have a look at the service modules in SAP Business One. Let's start with a customer equipment card. A customer equipment card can be automatically created from within SAP Business One as an item is sold. Here, for example, I have an equipment card for an HP 600. I see that it was sold to Customer Earthshaker Corporation, and I can see the address and location details. If I drill down using the tabs, I can see what service calls relate to this customer equipment card, what service contracts, what sales data, transactions, and attachments. So what I'd be able to do Let's drill down and have a look at all associated transactions with this particular customer equipment card. A service contract in SAP Business One is the ability for us to have a contract against a particular customer, an item or range of items. So in this instance, I have a warranty contract, which is a golden warranty for one particular high powered HP printer. I can see that my coverage is Monday through to Saturday, including parts, labor and travel. I can see that I have attachments, in this instance some technical notes, which is an attached Word document. And I also have an attached picture of the item in question. I can see what service calls relate to this particular service contract and what sales data. Let's now go in and have a look at the Solutions Knowledge Database. We'll just call on an item. Here what I can see is that where the symptom is no power, the recommended solution is first ensure the power at wall is tested. If power at wall is OK, then replace the power supply. I can of course at this point also create attachments of technical specifications or recommendations. So this Solutions Knowledge Database will build up over time and is very useful for technicians who can type in the symptom, i.e. in this instance, no power, and the system will recommend 
a solution. Let's go in now and have a look at an actual service call. So let's just go back to an old service call. What we can see here is a service call that was created for customer Norm Thompson for an HP 600. Let's not forget that I can track and trace the service call by serial number because in SAP Business One I can track inventory with no traceability, with batch traceability, or with serial number traceability. So in this instance I could either call up the customer and associated item, or I could type in the serial number which will default to that item and the customer. I see here the call status is currently open and that there's no power to the unit, which is brand new. I can see the origin of the call, email, the fact that there's no power to the unit, it's been handled by a bill, or I could have put it into a queue to say, let's not handle it by a bill, let's put this into, for example, our Melbourne queue. What are the remarks? Brand new machine, plugged in, no power. Has tested PowerPoint, which is working. What are the activities associated with the item? What we can see here is that the person who logged the call created an activity for Bill and said, Bill, could this be a faulty power supply caused by a power surge? So the user who logged the call has sent on a technical fault type activity to Bill Levine inside the system. What are the solutions? New power supply. What are the expenses associated with this? Well, there was an AR invoice and a delivery. What was the resolution? New power supply. The history associated with the call. And of course, scheduling information. Because let's not forget that in SAP Business One, I can schedule the call to a particular technician and put that in the technician's diary. So here we see a view of the diary or calendar system in SAP Business One. And here we see at one o'clock today, Norm Thompson, no power to the unit, immediate repair required. And we can drill down from that point and see the service call. What we've seen in this demonstration is the customer equipment card, which can be automatically created when the item is sold. The service contract, which holds contract relevant information for warranty and other related contracts associated with what items are being serviced when and what does the contract entail. We've seen the ability to create a service call and keep information against that service call. And we looked at the Solutions Knowledge Database. Let's now close by having a quick look at some of the reports available in the service reports of SAP Business One. Great standard features in most SAP reporting. When I call up the report, I get multiple selection criteria. So I can re review reports certain, created only on certain dates or resolved on certain dates or for one particular customer. So if, for example, I had a complaint from Earthshaker saying that their service calls are not being handled quickly enough, I can run a report just for Earthshaker. Or, for example, if I'm having issues with one particular technician taking too long to close calls, I can simply go in and I can have a look for calls handled just by that particular technician. In this case, we'll say Sophie, call up the report, and there are Sophie's outstanding calls. Of course, I have other reports like service calls by queue, response times by assigned to, average closure times. I have a service monitor in SAP Business One showing me my open service calls and my overdue service calls. I can review reports just of my overdue service calls and my open calls based on the technician's view of that service call. So multiple standard reports available in SAP Business One and of course our graphical KPI dashboard inside the service cockpit of SAP Business One. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget that there is a lot more information and blogs available on the Leverage Tech website at leveragetech.com.au. Thanks for watching.